Hello and welcome back to the TV Show Club, the show where we just talk about TV shows that have come out recently. I didn't know where to put this one actually because we've also got the Anime Club and technically this could be anime but it's also not really so it's like, I don't know. <laughs> but it is kind of a TV show. Today we're going to be talking about season 2 of Star Wars Visions. I actually loved season 1 of Star Wars Visions and I think that it was weirdly hated by some people. There were some brilliant moments in it that have genuinely stuck with me as a Star Wars fan and just love seeing these little stories that bring me more into the Star Wars universe, whether it's canon or not. Just seeing these storylines, even if it's not really relating to anything major in Star Wars, I just love. That's kind of what I take Visions as. It's almost like a Black Mirror thing where each episode is just a great story. Does it have any bigger, deeper meaning for Star Wars? No, but does it need to? No, I just enjoy watching Star Wars content and seeing the creativity of it as well. I just I just love the storytelling in this, to be honest with you. Season 2, in my opinion, like, upped the ante of the animation and the beauty and the storytelling way more than Season 1 did. In Season 1, I had a couple episodes that I was just sat, like, almost bored and waiting to end. In this one, there was not a single one that I did not enjoy. I've seen people hating on this already, saying it's not Star Warsy enough, or I've even seen people like Star Wars Theory complaining that every episode has a female lead. If he hadn't have even pointed that out, I don't think I would have even noticed. It doesn't affect anything. It doesn't play a role in any shape, way or form. It just, there is nothing to criticize about that. And saying it doesn't feel Star Warsy enough, that's not the point. It's not supposed to be the next episode in a saga of Star Wars. It's just supposed to be a fun little thing that we can watch, enjoy. It brings us into the Star Wars universe. And actually, to be honest, I actually think this was very Star Warsy. I think all the episodes revolve Involving the Empire. I think that is honestly the highlight for me of this series, the fact that they focused on the Empire. Because when you think about Order 66 and the Jedi and how they got killed off there, you sort of think that there's only like 20, 30 Jedi. There are hundreds of Jedi. The universe is massive. The Empire is massive. It's supposed to be terrifying. And yet all we've seen is this tiny little group of people. We've not seen any major effects of the Empire until this. I actually consider the Empire episodes as canon in my mind because I just think that's brilliant. Seeing all these different communities or just seeing how other people are affected by the Empire who aren't really involved in any way in the main storyline and we're probably never going to hear from again. It's just great to see how that's happening to them. Let's talk about like each episode as we go along. Episode 1 of Vision Season 2 is genuinely such a strong start. The animation of this one might possibly be my favourite just from its grit and its creativity and how well it utilizes color as well that blew my mind it's a great thing that we've not seen before seeing someone who was trained as a sith and was brought up as a sith who no longer wants to be a sith but they've not changed to a jedi they are just sort of that middle ground that balance of both we've not seen that massively and i just thought it was brilliant to see the highlight for this episode was definitely the animation i love the droid the stakes felt really high in this episode i thought the writing was great having not only the sith lord coming up to a but also having these two almost bounty hunters coming at her as well I thought was a great element that wasn't even necessarily needed but it just added to the stakes even more. Her having a double sided lightsaber, one side being the Sith and one side being the balance, I just loved that so much. The action of those two fighting and that whole corridor scene was just brilliant, the animation was stunning, the colours when she like is trying to figure out the darkness and the symbolism of the part of her that is still Sith or is still in the dark side and using that in the colours of the animation it was just, I genuinely thought this was a great great episode and a great way to start season 2 of Visions. Episode 2 of Visions season 2 might be my least favourite episode but I still enjoyed it. Screech's Reach follows this group of three people who work in like a mine place and they want to escape to a cave they've heard that there's a ghost hiding there they're not really too sure but this was definitely one of the simpler animations of the series not to say it wasn't beautiful or there wasn't some frames that were just absolutely pieces of artwork but it was definitely the more simplified down version of any of the episodes. I thought the storyline was fine, I thought the main protagonist was good, she went into the cave, she found the Sith, she got the lightsaber. This one wasn't too deep, there wasn't too much to you know follow through with or think about deeply but 
it was just an enjoyable little watch. Episode 3 of Vision Season 2, In the Stars, I just fell in love with this animation style. It's somewhere halfway between stop motion and just animated, I'm not really too sure, but the backstory that they had, and the fact that they've managed to pull this much into an episode that is literally like under 20 minutes is crazy to me. And the greatest thing about this episode is this could be something that has legitimately happened in canon because it's about the Empire, it's just a distant like planet where they're mining all the water and they're sucking all the resources out of the planet and they've killed off the civilization which we've seen in Andor. I love the relationship between the two sisters, I thought that was just genuinely really nice to see. I loved seeing the backstory of the planet and how the Empire took over and then how there's just these two people left and how they dealt with it and how they've essentially come to win and take down the Empire's resources. I mean, how could you not enjoy that story? The tension as one of the sisters is about to fall off and then it turns out that they've got the fo <laughs> It was just, that was a brilliant moment. I was genuinely like, oh my God, one of them is gonna die. And then they use the force and pull them back up. And it's just, it's brilliant. I loved this story so much. I thought it was a great little addition to Visions. A great little addition to canon. In my mind, I'm considering this as canon. It's just somewhere far away from the main storyline that we've seen but to me this is still canon. Episode 4 of Visions I Am Your Mother is one of the most heartwarming sort of pieces of Star Wars content that we have ever seen. I loved this so much. The animation style being Ardman, you could just tell it just had that charm about it and all the characters had that sort of subtle charm and I loved it. I just loved this episode. There's nothing too explosive about this episode. There's nothing too incredibly like Jedi or Force or lightsabers or Sith or evil, bad, whatever. It's just a a charming story about a mother and a daughter in the Star Wars universe entering a pod race or a ship race or whatever kind of race it is. I just thought this episode was brilliantly done, brilliantly written. There's nothing much more to it. There's no deep message. There's no hidden meaning. There's no extreme Star Wars Easter eggs. It's just a nice little piece of content. Journey to the Dark Head episode 5 of Visions might be my favourite episode from season 2 of Visions. It kind of had everything that I would want from an episode. It had the Jedi Council, it had Sith, it had a Jedi who was dealing with inner battles about whether he's got anger or fear or Sith inside him or whether he's tempted by the dark side. This story of these two characters, the girl who has been in this hole and this pit and they want to get rid of one of the statues but then they realise that actually you need the dark and the light side. It's not It's not a battle that will ever end, it's essentially just yin and yang in, in a way and that is Star Wars. The battle on the top of the ring between between the two heads where there's the Sith and the Jedi going at each other that was a brilliant little duel and the sort of extra detail of the Sith having like a tail that was mad and I genuinely hope we get something like that in the future because having that dynamic of not just as lightsaber but having something else as well as part of your body that's crazy and it adds so much detail to the fight. This episode was the most Star Warsy episode I feel like and not every episode needs to be like this and I'm glad that it's not but I truly did think this was the best episode of season 2 of Vision just as well the art style I loved the art style it was very true to sort of anime and the detailing of it there was some frames in this that you could literally like put on a poster and it would just work because it just was beautiful. Episode 6 of Vision Season 2, The Spy Dancer. As this episode started I didn't really think much of it and then as it started to progress and the twists at the end, this was just one of the best episodes as well. Probably not my favourite but the writing in this episode and how it progresses is fantastic. To me this is another episode that could easily be considered canon because it's during the Empire era, there's nothing that would change or alter any big Star Wars canon type timelines but this could be something that happened a little bit further away from what happens in Star Wars canon and it can still be canon. Having a mother who had a child ripped away from her by a guy and she thinks she sees that guy while doing the performance only to later realise that this is actually her son. That twist was like uh, my jaw was on the floor. I was not expecting that at all. I did not see that coming. Having the stormtroopers in this and the fights and the battles in this, I thought that was a brilliant element. Her using the 
uh, ropes that she uses for the dance. I thought was that that was a great touch. While the animation style is simple, it really works, and it, I just really enjoyed this. Overall, this was probably one of the better written episodes in my opinion, just from start to finish. It did a nice little storyline, nothing too long, nothing too in depth, and yet you still got a really heartfelt story at the end of it. Episode seven of Star Wars Visions season two, the Bandits of Golak. This is why I love Visions. This is something that I could consider as canon, and it's a culture and a part of Star Wars that we've never even seen before. We've never even touched on this. This was probably the safest animation style I think they went with. It was very close to Clone Wars, and in some frames I genuinely would think it is Clone Wars. And so for me, this was less about the artwork and well, does not not to take away from the art of this because it was still a brilliantly animated episode, but it did lose a little bit of its creativity from what the other episodes have as opposed to this one. And yet this felt like probably the most canonized episode that we could get. It had an Inquisitor going after a hidden Jedi. It had a brother and sister who genuinely have this great bond. One of them's quite clearly got the force. The brother's like, ah, I need to get away from the Empire. And then the reveal of all the plates floating up, but it turns out she is not the main Jedi and it is this like old veteran of the Jedi. And that battle as well. I've seen people complaining about how she gets the two lightsabers from a stick. Just accept it. Enjoy the Star Wars content. The battle between the Inquisitor and this woman was a brilliant battle. It was incredibly well animated. The techniques that both of these use, the stakes of how high it was, and the only thing people are complaining and focusing on is the fact that her lightsaber split from it. Just, just stop. Just enjoy the content we're getting. It's so good. The emotional ending of it where the brother gets split off and the, the, the little girl has to go with the Jedi. It's just, it was just such a great story. Episode 8 of episode eight of Vision Season 2, The Pit. Another episode that could easily be considered canon and to me it is considered canon now. Focusing on how brutal the Empire is and seeing how the Empire just does not care about the general public and the general people of these planets and all it cares about is sucking the resources from these people. That's what the Empire is about. That's what the Empire always should and have been. And so seeing this and seeing the brutality of it and seeing these people who have worked their asses off in this pit for the Empire and for the Empire is good and yet the Empire won't even let them out of the pit. Like that's just crazy and the scene where the guy gets out but then they just chuck him back in the pit and essentially just kill him in front of all his own people like just genuinely the Empire in this episode was so brutal and yet I love that depiction of the Empire. That is my favourite Empire. The hope of the people. This is just pure Star Wars. Anybody saying that Visions is not very Star Wars this was literally pure Star Wars. In, in a dire situation, hope still shines through. That is literally the message of Star Wars. These people, despite seeing what is like one of their brothers fall to their death, and they're still chanting and still have hope and the general public of this world defeat the Empire and they come together and they, they overcome the Empire and they help the people out of the pit. I thought this was a great story. The final episode of Vision Season 2, if I can say it right, O's Song, was just a great little story. I love the animation, the colours of this, it was just a stunning thing to watch. And seeing something that we've never seen before, like a Kyber Crystal Farm, I don't know when this would be positioned, I assume in sort of High Republic type error if it is considered canon which it quite easily could be just loved it I thought the colors were brilliant the story the daughter and the father and their relationship and the battles they've gone in this like world my only criticism is that the text at the beginning it was just on screen like it's Star Wars have it roll up <laughs> but nevertheless I thought this was such a charming little episode and I loved seeing that Jedi as well the character designs of all the people in this episode were really well done and yeah I just thought this was, this was just a nice one. But anyway that has been all my thoughts of Vision Season 2. I really enjoyed it, I loved the Star Wars content that we got from this series and the heartfelt stories that we got and just seeing all these little Star Wars tales, it just brings you deeper into Star Wars and I just love it. I really hope we get a Season 3 of Visions and if we don't then... I guess I enjoyed it while it lasted. Let me know what you thought of Star Wars Visions in the comments below, but that has been all from me, and I'll see you next time on the TV Show Club.